You just mentioned antitrust a few moments ago. Um, that means monopolies, right? Mm -hmm. um, if elected, what would you support in Congress to break up so-called monopolies? What industries? So, I mean, this is clear in agriculture. You look at every single sector of agriculture and uh, there's just a handful of companies that control it. Uh, we had the same battle literally 100 years ago. In 1920, the big five were broken up uh, in Packers and they controlled 45% of the market share. Right now in hogs, four companies control 70% of the market share. Right now in cattle, four companies control 85% of the market share. And as a result, they're pricing our farmers out. And so this pandemic has put a spotlight on this. We have consumers paying the most we ever have for meat. We have workers in Sioux City at the processing plants getting the same wage as when my family moved from Nevada to Sioux City in 1984. And we have farmers getting squeezed. And so my campaign is trying to build this coalition of, of uh, consumers, of workers, and of farmers. And uh, it is so clear. You know, every politician loves to talk about, oh, especially here in Iowa, I'm pro-farmer. But you're not pro-farmer. When you uh, take all this money from, from these monopolies that are squeezing out people on the farm, we are, uh, farmers have the largest debt they've ever had. And when you go, especially the way we have in all 374 towns, going from town to town, farm to farm, talking to so many people uh, that this affects, it doesn't matter political spectrum, all over the political spectrum, whether you're a Democrat, Independent, Republican, they have all said the same thing. When I mentioned antitrust and agriculture, they said you're exactly right. And so what this administration has done has ripped out GYPSA. And, and we need to uh, monitor. It? It's the Grain Inspecting uh, Stockyards Pactors Administration. It used to be a standalone entity, but now it's under the division that it's supposed to be overseeing. So we need to allow our farmers to stay on their land and make a dime, and that's empowering the farmer.